Rounds of Boxing, featuring women. Referee tonight, Al Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, these bouts are sanctioned by the New Mexico Athletic Commission, Stan Gallup, Chairman. The judges in the first bout tonight, William Gant, Dan C. Schmettles, and Albert Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the blue corner, weighing in at 128 and one half pounds, white top, blue trunks trimmed in white, black shoes. She is from Midland, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big New Mexico welcome to Carol Stinson. With blue trunks with red stripe, black top, black shoes with white trim. She is from Los Lunas, New Mexico. The introductions are out of the way, and we are all set for four rounds of women's professional boxing. Coming to you from the Lujan building here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we'd like to thank everyone for joining us tonight here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. We've got the Lady Hawk, Patricia Otero from Las Lunas, New Mexico. She trains down at the South San Jose Community Center, trained by Oriel Chavez. She is one to watch. Her opponent from Midland, Texas, now living in El Paso, Carol Stinson. So Al Martinez, the referee, we're all set. Here we go with round one. They're both wearing blue trunks, so they're being identified by their shirts. Otero in the black shirt, Stinson in the white. And there's Stinson shooting a jab out there, catching Patricia. And Patricia Otero now coming forward and banging on, <laughs> on Carol Stinson. And she gets a warning from the referee, one of those shots straight a little behind the neck. Patricia Otero got into boxing just to get into shape, and next thing you knew, she was in the ring and being successful. Two very strong women. This should be a good, even match. Patricia Otero, the pride of New Mexico. There you see her firing out those jabs and follows it with her right hand as Stinson tries to counter. Both fighters fighting out of the right-handed stance. Oh, and there's a right hand that lands from Otero, and Otero now follows up with a series of right hands. And Stinson landing a nice jab right there as Patricia Otero moved in. You can see Stinson trying to time Otero and catch her on the way in. Again, Patricia Otero working with both hands. Patricia fought in the New Mexico Tough Woman Contest, uh, winning that in the, the, the New Mexico State Champion. And so she's, she's a fighter. <laughs> she's really meant for this business and she's done good so far in improving each time out. And Carol Stinson herself, a well-known warrior, especially around this area. She gave uh, Gloria Cataneo all she could handle. So, uh, oh, and they're both girls trying to land the big rights. Again, Otero with a right hand, getting around the guard of Stinson. There's a left hand she slips in on the way out. Nice work by Patricia Otero here in this opening round. Oh, I think somebody might have lost their mouthpiece. Let's see. I saw something go flying in that exchange. <laughs> I guess it wasn't the mouthpiece. I don't know what it was, but something went flying. I hope it wasn't a bridge or something. These girls throwing some bombs here. 
You can see Carol Stinson's strong and sturdy. Here she comes now firing the jab right hand. And there she sticks a jab in the face of Patricia Otero. You can see Pater uh, Patricia Otero trying to get a little bit of head movement going to end the first round, and it was a good one. Two underway. You're watching the eight count boxing hour here on public access television in Albuquerque and around the country at our different public access stations. Thank you to all of you for joining us tonight. Patricia Otero from Los Lunas, New Mexico in the black shirt and she lands her right hand on Carol Stinson. So Stinson's hair is kind of flying around. I think what, what came went flying in the first round was a hair tie. She's having a little trouble now with her hair. Patricia Otero knocking the hair tie right out of her hair. And these girls have been exchanging some bombs here. It's a good one. And there you saw Otero get caught with her right hand from Stinson as she was delivering her, her own shot. Two strong ladies in there. This is a good one. Scheduled for four. Two minute rounds in professional women's boxing. There you see Otero trying to, showing the, the jab and then coming back with the right hand. Stinson now trying to get around that jab, trying to go over the top of that jab. Not successfully. She's having trouble. Her hair keeps flying into her face. They might need to do something with that. Good action in that opening round. I, I, I give the edge to Otero, but uh, Stinson's getting her money's worth in here. And Patricia's going to have to watch herself throughout this match. So far, so good. Oh, and there's a nice little left that catches Stinson. So Patricia Otero doing a nice job of scoring. Patricia has improved each time out. Well, she's had a tough way to go. She opened her pro career against a uh, kickboxing world champion, Helga Rizoy, and lost that one and that. What a way to start. But she has really improved quickly. So far, so good here in the second round of this one. And there's Stinson, though, with a good right hand. Otero now with a combination. Patricia Otero doing a good job of keeping the space just right between her and her opponent. Now you see Stinson moving around, trying to get work some angles here on uh, Otero. Now Patricia with an overhand right that missed. Thank you again to everyone for joining us tonight here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. It's a pleasure to bring you the boxing action of the Duke City. Oh, and there's Stinson throwing that big right hand. We're just about at the end of the second round here. And that ends it. Round two is in the books. We're halfway through this one. Looking into the corner of Patricia Otero, that's uh, Oriel Chavez working her corner. And I see Rick Ortega on the outside there as one of the seconds. So she has a good team working for her. So far, so good. One more round, two rounds. <laughs> yeah, 
the third round of four. Patricia Otero and Carol Stinson waging war here at the Lujan Pavilion in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And now you see Stinson getting a little more offensive, moving her hands and moving in, ducking and moving in. Possibly feeling that she may be falling behind on the scorecards and needs to get in here. Oh, and she runs into a stiff jab from Otero. And now, oh, and Patricia comes in with a combination and she gets caught with her right hand. Now Stinson is the one moving Otero back. And here comes Patricia charging back out of the corner. Both girls mixing it up real nice here. A good one. Junior lightweight division. Carol Stinson in the white shirt's dangerous. Patricia's really going to have to watch herself. Oh, and there's a big right hand <laughs> thrown by Otero. You can see both girls doing some nice work, uh, defensive work, trying to slip. They're not just standing there and getting caught. They're trying to get a little bit of head movement, trying to be slick and tricky. Definitely a step up in polish for uh, Patricia Otero since her Tough Woman contest days. She's really been polished up nicely by uh, her trainer, Oriel Chavez. Again, you can see Otero trying to work with the jab. She'll flick it out every now and then. Stinson with her hands high. Trying to get in there and throws a hard body shot. girls exchanging evenly. There you see Patricia with a jab right hand and Stinson trying to throw that overhand right counter but comes up short. There's Otero with a nice right hand and she swats with a follow-up right hand. I guess they got uh, Stinson's hair tied up somehow because it's not flying around like it was in that second round. Uh, blinding her vision, giving her trouble but that ends the third round. One to go here on the eight count boxing hour. and final round. Patricia Otero in the black shirt. Carol Stinson in the white. It's been a good even fight. I think Otero with the edge on my unofficial scorecard, but Carol Stinson also doing some good work. There you see now Patricia throwing a couple of good solid shots. She comes in behind the jab. Again, jab right hand. Basic boxing, but it's working well for her. Stinson continues to try to move around the outside and find an opening. As Stinson now comes in with the jab, behind the jab. And Otero does a good job of checking the jab and stepping out. This is the final round. Neither fighter has been hurt, neither fighter has been down.
Referee Al Martinez has not had to do much. These two girls are not clinching. They've been staying at distance and, and punching. Not a lot of holding or tying up. And Al Martinez doing a good job of letting them work. Oh, and there's a straight right from Stinson. That got Otero's attention. Again, Stinson with a good jab. Carol Stinson having a nice fourth round here. But Otero is powerful, and you can see when she lands, she really shakes her opponent. Stinson doing a good job of keeping her hands up. As she tries to counter there, oh, and she lands a left hand on Otero. So Stinson missed with a right, came back quick with a quick left and scored on, on the head of uh, Patricia Otero. Now Otero, oh, she lands a right and eats a right. Good counter punching by Carol Stinson. Again, Stinson lunging in with that right hand to the body. Good exchange by these two at close quarters. And that ends the round. The bell rings for the fourth and final round. This one will go to the three judges, and we'll see what kind of score they can come up with in this one. Looks like a win for Patricia Otero, but we'll see. Is that the last round?